Hello and welcome to my channel. It's uh, obviously a gaming channel. Um, I was going to do an introduction and all, but, you know, I just didn't really feel like doing one. So I figured I'd get into the pickups and I have a few shout outs at the very end. Alright, so my first pickups will be for the PlayStation 1. And all of them were $2. I got the long box version of Loaded, Tomb Raider Chronicles. A black label copy of Spyro, Contra Legacy of War, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Iron and Blood, a weird fighting game, Riven, the sequel to Mist, underrated, The Legend of Dragoon, Greatest Hits, Final Fantasy VIII, Darkstone and Gran Turismo 2. I'm not a big racing fan, but you know it was the last of their PS1 titles, so I just picked it up with it. Again, this is going to be a fairly long video, but it's a pretty good haul. And then at another pawn shop, I picked up a few PSP titles. Now uh, they were five bucks each, so it wasn't like a steal or anything. But I got the re remake, reboot of the first Final Fantasy. I got Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And the next are my uh, couple in 64 titles. Um, I got them as a throw-in with another buy, which I'll also show you, but it is Jet Force Gemini, um, Ultimate Floyd 1, I was talking to him, because I hadn't played it at that point, and it's in one of his permanent rotations, so uh, I put it in, played it, and it's actually quite fun. And then I also got Castlevania. Both those were in mint. These last two are kind of beat up, but again, they were free, so I'm not complaining. And that is Quest 64 and GoldenEye. Uh, the GoldenEye's just got writing and stickering all over it, and it plays alright, but you know, I might put that up for trade, I'm not sure. It'll be super cheap if it does go up for trade, you know. And uh, this was also thrown in with uh, another system I got, which is over there, which I'll show you. But it is Star Voyager for the Nintendo system. Um, you know, I wasn't that excited about it, but I did like the Atari Star Voyager, and I don't know if this is the same or not, so I'll have to play that tonight sometime. Alright, the next are a PS2 and a GameCube title. Um, this is a really good find. Um, it's not rare or anything, but it's the Bard's Tale for the PS2. Um, I just played this all the time when it came out for the PC, and I was so happy to find it. It's a rare game, but it's not expensive. You can usually get it online for about five bucks. And that was three dollars. And then the GameCube title I got was Metroid Prime with the Echoes bonus disc. It was also three. They were originally going for five, but the guy just said, you know, give them to you for three. And it is complete and excellent shape. I don't think it was ever even played. So there's that. <laughs> Might as well get this out of the way while I'm here. I also found it a pawn shop, and this is actually a really good deal. I got the Final Fantasy XI with the hard drive. Um, the box was beat up, so I, and he was wanting 30 for it, and I was like, I don't know. So he was like, you know, I can give it to you for 25 And then I got home, opened it up, and it's in mint condition on the inside. So I'm guessing the box just took the brunt of it. Uh, right now, the hard drive is currently in my fat boy. But, you know, it was, this was one of the things on my list that I was really wanting to get. And so happy to get it for a good price. Now this next lot is what the N64 games came in. And it's a really big lot, so I apologize. But the guy was wanting, like, 50 for it, and I was like, you know, the games are pretty beat up, because you can maybe do, like, 30, and he was like, sure. So, anyways, it is a lot of 69 Atari 2600 games. I got Lock and Chase, Star Raiders, Sword Quest Fireworld, Street Racer, Dodge'em, Video Olympics, 
a classic Yars Revenge. Defenders. Video chess. Space War. Circus Atari. Combat. Pole Position. Vanguard. Jungle Hunt. Asteroids. Pac-Man. Basketball. Another copy of Asteroids. Target Fun. Kangaroo. Combat. Defender. Warlords. Speedway 2. Porkies. Night Driver. Missile Command. Pele Soccer. The Great Frogger. Cosmic Arc. Star Voyager. Thrill of the Sphinx. Donkey Kong. Mousetrap. Planet Patrol. Gangster Alley. Pitfall 2 The Lost Caverns. Kaboom. Two California Games. Star Master. Mega Mania. Chopper Command. Laser Blast. Freeway. Skiing, which the label's torn, but I'm not too worried about it. Stampede. Uh, the label's coming off. Keystone Capers. Combat without a side label. Video Pinball, again without a side label. I'm guessing Pinball from the name of it, but again, it doesn't have one. Space Invaders. Slot Racers. Another Video Olympics. Miss Pac Man. Another Space Invaders. Maze Craze. The game that almost killed the video game market. E.T. Outlaw. Pac Man. Another Missile Command. Berserk. Sword Quest. Casino. Berserk. Warlords, Surround, and Air Sea Battle. Now, I tried to just go through all of them really fast because obviously it's a lot of fucking games. But, 30 bucks, you know, I tested them all out. A couple of them I had to take apart. One I took apart found a dead cockroach in it. But, took a couple apart, cleaned them out, so they all work now. There was only about three or five that I couldn't get to work, so I had to take them apart and clean them. But the guy, why I really wanted this lot, he uh, charged 24 I'm about to show you, is for this. Now, I already had one, but this one's in a lot better condition. You know, it cleaned it up. It cleaned up very nice. And that is an Atari 2600. Uh, four switcher wood grain. You know, this replaces my heavy six or so. That's always good. But I got this. A gem stick. Uh, yeah. Two actual Atari joysticks. And two sets of paddles. Um, it also came with a little plug-and-play thing for the TV that was Atari, and it was a joystick, so I'm guessing the guy just didn't know what he had. But, you know, I was just collecting dust in my plug-and-play cabinet. Alright, so for the last part of my video, um, it needs a little bit of explaining to do, not much, but I've never really collected Sega. I don't know why, it's just um, never been one of my uh, systems or games to collect. But I've been, more recently, I've been wanting to, you know, so 
I've been looking on Craigslist and eBay, and these next two things I actually found locally, so I was really happy that I didn't have to pay a boatload of shipping. But the first thing I got was for forty dollars. The guy was originally asking sixty, but when I heard it didn't come with the original packaging, I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. The most I could do is forty, and that is a boxed Sega Genesis Model One core system. Um, again, it didn't come with the packaging. The box is in. It, it's in okay condition. The back is kind of bent, but I ironed that out, so it's working now. But anyways, here's the system. It's nice and clean. There's a little scuff in the Genesis there. Um, it was pretty dirty, so I took it completely apart, cleaned the motherboard. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's been 100% cleaned up. Pins cleaned and everything, so... It looks brand freaking new right now, so I thought it was a pretty good deal for 40 bucks. And it came with the cores, but it's already hooked up right now, so I didn't have time to show them. It also came with two controllers. Uh, they're the three button ones. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, I wanted at least one six one, but the guy said he didn't have any, so oddly enough, this came with that NES title. I don't know why, it was just in the box with it, but uh, there's that. And, uh came with no Genesis game, so I went to the pawn shop and uh, found a pretty good deal on them. They were, the guy was wanting five, but I talked him down to two because I was like, you know, I just got the system. I don't really know what I want for it yet. So the first game I knew I wanted because everyone needs to have it for the Genesis, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this was the only card only one I got. The next one was Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition. Edition. It is in uh, spectacular condition. Comes with everything: the registration cards, the cart's in mint condition, no scratches, no scuffs. Case looks flawless. Um, it always baffles me to find games like this in the wild that are just pretty much untouched by man. Uh, the next game I got was Biohazard Battle. Um, it's in pretty rough shape, the cart and everything else with it. Yeah. When I opened it up, I also found this. It came with the Primal Rage manual, so uh, if you need one, just hit me up. Uh, if you pay for shipping, it's free. So, But anyways, there's that. And I got Echo, the Tides of Time. Again, amazing condition. Uh, just spectacular condition, really, so I'm going to have to go to that pawn shop and pick up some more later this month. And then, uh, this one was just beat up condition, but, you know, I like Family Feud, so this is a no-brainer. It looks like someone spilled coffee on the cover art, so the, car the actual cart and the manual are in mint condition, so I guess I'll just print out another one for that if I need to. Alright, so this next one was truly one of the best deals I've ever found on Craigslist when it comes to consoles anyways. Um, he, this guy didn't have a price on it, he just had the one dollar thing, so I thought I'd start off low and see how high he wanted to get. And oddly enough, the first offer I put out there, he's like, sure, no problem. And that is a complete inbox, original packaging and everything, Dreamcast, um, spectacular condition. As you can see, the box is in very good shape. There's uh, one little ding right there, but that was from me. I accidentally dropped the box, so, you know, what can you do? But, it came with, also boxed, uh, it didn't come with the original packaging, was the VMU. And it's missing its little top thing right there. But, you know, it's VMU, so I'm not too awfully worried about it. The controller, as you can probably see, amazing condition. Um, I actually had to open it out of the original packaging to get to it, so I don't know if this guy just bought an aftermarket controller before he bought the system or what, but that was completely packaged up in the clear with the red writing on it, so that was pretty cool. The system itself is in, in amazing condition. Um, one of the only sy few systems I've bought that I just 
didn't touch cleaning wise because it did not need it whatsoever. So that was pretty cool. Another cool little thing. The guy included with this the original receipt. I don't know why, but that just made the whole transaction worthwhile that he actually had the receipt from, where is it at? December 9th, 2001. So that was pretty cool. And he threw in some games with it, and all these untouched cases are mint condition. I mean, this guy really takes care of his stuff, and he has some more stuff I'm going to pick up from him uh, next week when I get paid. But, first one is Sonic Adventures. Comes with the bonus disc. This is the one that was uh, bundled with the system, I do believe. Sonic Shuffle, uh, kind of Mario Party-ish. Um, it was enjoyable, but definitely one of the oddball titles. MSR Racing. I'm not a huge racing fan, but, you know, from what I did play of it, it was pretty good. And this one, I know I'm not going to play. Yeah, I might try it. <laughs> NBA Hoops. Um, not a big basketball fan, so that one will probably just either sit on the shelf or I'll trade it in for something like Crazy Taxi. And the web browser. It came complete, packaged and everything, untouched. But I opened it up because it had Sega Swirl on there, and I wanted to try it out. It's a pretty fun arcade game, so really happy to get this this lot. And hopefully, I'm with, now I'm really wanting to collect for uh, Sega, so I'm wanting to get a Saturn and a Master System, so if you know anyone that has enough for trade or sale or broken ones, I do repairs, so. Anyways, I want to thank you for uh, watching my channel, watching my video. Um, I know I'm not going to have a lot of views right away, probably only the people I give shoutouts to, but anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, the shoutouts I do want to give to are Asian Sleepy, JHDMF, Old School Brian, Ultimate Floyd One, and if I missed you, I'm so sorry. Uh, if I'm subscribed to you, just tell me below. And in my next video, I'll give you a shout-out. But it's 3 in the morning, so my brain's not all there. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Stay true and stay gaming.